shahavali namata veneno si vinia kato jamanita the wonder brehen to sika hale kasika hale kasika hale kasika many sika many sika many sika many sika many sika 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 for I bring to you grace. I bring to you grace. I bring to you grace. I bring to you grace to make you a seeker of that which is utmost. Of that which is utmost, even the cost of salvation. Even salvation. Even salvation. Even salvation. Oh, katende, legedumpa, hataniande. Oh, upon my handmaiden, have I risen? The banata to flow unto you mahate menevina egante hakante hakante oh words of grace words of grace words of grace to make you seekers of salvation to make you seeker seeker even seekers of salvation hekate 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 banata valiende velenosia ambrika tosha for the greeting is the greeting of grace. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's the greeting of grace. Hallelujah. Amen. One thing is very clear in this season, and is that God is working towards salvation of man. He was working towards salvation of man, and he, he wants us to inherit him. I'm going to talk briefly this morning. It was just, you know, impressed upon my heart about the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit, like this name goes, it's holy. Praise God. And his intention, why he came, is because of salvation. Why they sent him is because of salvation. While the Lord decided, when I say, when God, why, why God decided to send him is to help man to come to salvation. Hallelujah. So the Holy Ghost is to bring down the kingdom of God. We cannot come into the kingdom of God without recognizing the Holy Ghost and without joining force with him. Now, as he's coming to us day by day, because they know he's the one that can help us with our faults, you know, the state we are, the level we are, is the only one that can come there and help us up. But his coming is not because of himself. He does not expect that when he comes, we now tabernacle with him, and just be dancing around him and dancing around what he has brought. He's to help us, is to channel our focus towards somebody. He's to channel our focus towards the Godhead. He's to help us to see that which you are doing and to journey in that path. While the Spirit comes, is because they want a company on the earth. A company they can come to they can relate with, and they can understand them. Now, if the Spirit of God does not come, we cannot understand what they are talking about. The Bible talk, talk about them. I said they are mysteries. That means they are secrets. So it's the one that helps us to understand the secrets that the beings are. Hallelujah. And I want us to know, you see, they are interested. Jesus said, I will grow. I said, I will build my church. He said, I will build my church. How is he going to build his church? Through the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is to help to build up the church. Hallelujah. You know, when he was going, in John chapter 16, verse 17, he says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. I like this. He said it is expedient. It is gainful. It is rewarding that I go away. It is necessary. Because if, it, if Christ does not go, he can't send the Holy Spirit. 
So he said, it is expedient. It is necessary for me to go. Now, when I go, he said, and if I go not away, the comforter, say comforter. Say the comforter. The comforter. Say the comforter will not come unto you. So the Holy Ghost is the comforter. When you say comforter, say it's not just like um, something is wrong with you and you are sad and we are not comforting you. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. You see, when he brings God's presence, that's comfort. When he reveals Christ, that is comfort. When he comes and manifests God, that is comfort. So when he comes with the presence and showing God to us, it is comfort. He's the comforter. So we cannot accept the comfort of God. Or the comfort of Christ. Let's say from the comfort of Christ without him. He's the one that makes their comfort known. I want to see that comfort like an abode. An abiding place. He reveals it. It's like a house. So when he brings us there, we enjoy their presence. We enjoy their doings. We enjoy their acts. Like Pastor was saying when he said, the acts of the apostles is not actually the act of the apostles. It's actually the act of the Holy Spirit. He was the one that was being made manifest in all that they were doing. He was the one that was showing them that without him, you cannot. And one thing about these beings, like we've been told, they don't reveal themselves. But in revealing others, the one way or the other also reveal themselves. They don't talk about themselves. When Christ was on earth, he was talking about the Spirit and of the Father. He was not talking about himself. But they are the ones that, they, you see, when I say they are the abiding place, now, when you come into them, when they are coming into them, is learning them. It's all about learning. It's all about coming into the knowledge of who they are. Now, every day while we gather together, we gather to come and learn them. And as we are learning them, we are joining more into them day by day. Hallelujah. I want us to go to 1 Corinthians chapter. 12. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. First Corinthians 12, 7. It said, but the manifestation of the Spirit. The manifestation of the Spirit is not walking through the wall. It's not being suspended in the air. It's not shaking water and turning it into salty water. No. His manifestation is revelation. His manifestation is all about the beings that, that is the Godhead. Hallelujah. So he said his manifest is given to every man. There was a time, like Pastor Dixon was saying the other time, there was a time we have heavy presence of the Spirit, heavy manifestation of the Spirit on earth. But because men were not seeking salvation, they had to remove him, remove the manifestation, so that man cannot start seeking him. His manifestation is for salvation. If he's not gendering towards salvation, he's not at work. If eyes are not being opened to moral salvation, he's not at work. You know, it's possible. You say, ah, when I went to that meeting, the presence of the Spirit was so heavy. Everywhere was scattering. Everywhere was turning around. People were falling down. People were rising up. You can rise up. You can fall down as a sinner. And also rise up as a sinner. Yeah. You can be rolling on the ground. And you have not changed. So his manifestation is not falling down and rising up. 
His manifestation is ah, today, if you hear the tongues that were coming out in church, you were hearing all sorts. Get to my bituki, ikuka, kuduga, gom, gom, gege, all sorts. No, that is not his manifestation. His manifestation is revelation. His manifestation is understanding. His manifestation is to make known. That's why you can say you have the manifestation of the Spirit. So you can say you have manifestation. When he say it's for every man to, he say it's given. Say given. So when he comes, he's to give. Is to give you understanding. Is to help us to journey more into salvation. So like I said, if it's not journeying towards salvation, it is not his manifestation. And that manifestation is to make you to profit. It's, it's there for every man to profit with all. If that profiting is not journeying towards the profiting of your brethren, it is not his manifestation. On, I think maybe, maybe Wednesday, yeah, I think it was worse. The pastor was saying that his manifestation is not that, you see, God has showed you, I want to pray for you. Or you went to an elderly person, you see, I believe you have to have VG on your case. The Lord said, I should come and pray for you. If God is leading you to pray with you, it's another thing entirely than to pray for you. For you, it's like you're loading, you're taking authority over that person. You are taking authority over that situation. And that is not the spirit. The spirit does not work like that. The spirit does not work like that. More of the spirit we have, we come into more humility and more lowliness. Now, if it's not working towards humility and it's not working towards lowliness, then it's not his manifestation. We are to see less of us and more of others the more he comes. Because that's actually the way they are. They paint themselves as not there, he's the one that is doing it. But they're actually doing it together. No, so what the Lord wants from us is for us to agree with him. Hallelujah. For us to agree with him so that he can walk through us and bless his church. He's interested in raising his church. But his church is consist of individuals. So when individuals are being raised, the church is being raised. So his presence, his manifestation is for all to profit with. It's for him to be seen in our midst. Hallelujah. Like daddy was saying yesterday, you know, that is, um, I meeting with him yesterday was so strong. He was talking about you in your house. That you should, he said, no, we normally say charity begins at home. Now, if people don't know you in your house as somebody that has met God, you can't come and cajole in church. It must be seen at home. Now, when it's seen at home, then it can actually again be seen at home in the church because church is also another home. You understand? But when you have experienced God, you have permitted God to work on you. There's a way it will be seen when we come together. It should be sure, no, everybody will come to the experience that come. You have actually met God and God is being revealed through you and through me. Praise the Lord. So the Holy Spirit, his work is to raise the church. Like Jesus said, I will build my church. Now the Holy Ghost is to build his church. The Holy Spirit is to make the church to be established. That God himself would not be able to look away from the church. And the devil too would not be able to look away from the church. Because it's a place where the presence of the Lord is sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So there is no growth without the Holy Spirit. We can't grow without him. He's the one that brings growth. He's the one that makes sure that personally individuals are coming up. He's the one that makes sure that the life that he's revealing is having places to stand, to be established in us. Now, if we don't appreciate the Spirit, please take note of this. If you don't appreciate the Spirit, you cannot go far with God. 
You can't go to, you can't be talking of Christ. You can't be talking of everlasting life. Now, neither can you be talking of eternal life without appreciating, recognizing, and giving the Spirit his due place in our lives. He has to take his place in our lives for the order for the Godhead to come in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we need to reverence the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor, reverence the Holy Spirit. Reverence him. Honor him. Put him in high esteem. Put him in high esteem. When you do that, then he'll be pleased to dwell with you. He does not dwell in the place where he's disrespected. You know, naturally, even man, you like to be respected. Now, you could go to a place and in that house, they decided that they just treated you anyhow. Not, no, not, not that. Um, uh, you went to visit somebody and the person said, What's the person telling you? You are not wanted. Go away. That's just what the person is saying. They, they don't need to tell you that. He doesn't need to tell you you are not wanted. He has said it. No, next time, will you carry your bag and go to that house? Answer, will you go there? No, it's not possible. Now, if we don't regard man, and man loves respect, talk less of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit loves to be reverent. Now, when you reverence him, then you see more of him. One thing I came to see is that, you see, the Holy Spirit, when he, there's a way he keeps manifesting. Then when he said the Spirit of Christ, he's still there, but at another level. You understand? Now, the Spirit of God is still there at another level, but it's from level to level. Now, when we don't understand the first manifestation, we cannot come to the other ones. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, he's the one that reveals the Godhead to us. He's the one that helps us to know them. And this is the season that God wants us, you see, there's a way, you know, we've been going and there's a way the Lord just brought us back and said, this Holy Spirit, pay attention to him. Pay attention to the Holy Spirit. You cannot go far without him. We cannot attain without him. No shahavalino paprihen con de velenosia pale javaniante sinto vilenamona shiva and teha even an infilling again even an infilling again even an infilling even an infilling even an infilling even to take your heart over even to take your heart over even to take your heart over afra hasi keledendo erubane shahatasia for some of you are still limited hit at all but we'll break the limitations we'll break the limitations we'll break the limitations for even the holy spirit of truth ha haline tovenda We'll begin to take away your limitations. We'll begin to show you to take steps. We'll begin to show you to find entrance. We'll begin to show you to gain access even in the spirit. For many are yet to be familiar with this terrain. For this terrain is too strange. But we are taking away limitations. We are taking away limitations. For Holy Ghost will come upon you again afresh. Holy Ghost will come upon you afresh, even to teach you, even to train you, for his voice will become more distinct. His, his voice will become clearer. His voice will become clearer and he'll begin to teach you. He will teach you to drop things. He will teach you to take up things. He will teach you the way to go. He will teach you. And not many days from now, many of you will gain access. Amen. 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 Father, thank you. So not many days from now, we will gain access. In the mighty name of Jesus. So this is the season to know the Holy Ghost. 
is the season to know him. It's the season to come into the understanding of whom he is. Hallelujah. Through the Holy Ghost, we go into depths. You want to get into depths of God? Connect with the Holy Ghost. You want to get to the heights of God? Connect to the Holy Ghost. One thing about the Holy Ghost is that as that he's taking you into depth, he's also taking you into heights. Depths are actually heights in him. Praise God. So this is the time to be holder of the Holy Spirit. This is the time to open up ourselves and permit the Spirit to have his perfect work in us. Hallelujah. This is the time to enter into the Holy Ghost. You know, it's possible to be speaking in tongues and you are not in the Spirit. It is possible. That you are speaking in tongues does not mean you are in the Spirit. But in this season, the Lord will help us. He will take us deeper into himself. We will know the Holy Spirit. We will journey by the Spirit. And we come into more of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is to take us into realms in the kingdoms. In the kingdom of God, there are realms. It's a realm upon realm. There are levels. There are stratas. It's not just one. Hallelujah. John chapter 3, verse 6. I read verse 6. John 3, 6. Amen. And Jesus said and said, no, 3, 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. In this season, we'll be born of the Spirit. It will be evident that we have met with the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. When we are born of the Spirit, we begin to live by the Spirit. That's when we say that when you are now speaking in tongues, you are now speaking by the Spirit. You are not just uttering words, you are speaking spirits. You are speaking spirits. Because you have encountered the Spirit. You have been born of the Spirit. So you are speaking spirits. When you are born, you are an offspring. When you are born, you are an extension. Hallelujah. So it will be an extension of the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It says, the wind bled where it listed, and thou hearest the sound thereof. But cannot tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. He will direct us. He will carry us. He will lead us. He will help us. You see, this journey is not easy without the Spirit. We need the Spirit to journey far. For the journey is very far. Salvation is far. But by the Spirit, we will end there. Because we will permit the Spirit to carry us. We will permit the Spirit to lead us the way he wants to. So that the Lord himself can be made manifest in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is interested in every one of us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, verse, John 4 verse 24 says, he said, God is a spirit. So that's the spirit we're talking about. That's the spirit we need to encounter. So the Holy Spirit will take us on until we encounter God that is the spirit and we'll be able to behold him face to face because we have become as he is in the mighty name of Jesus. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The Lord is seeking worshipers. He's seeking those who can stand face to face and declare him. In our generation, men will be raised in the mighty name of Jesus. In our generation, people that are carriers of the spirit will be raised in the mighty name of Jesus. And when you are worshiping in spirit, then you'll be able to worship in truth. In spirit and in truth, 
He will teach us the truth. Pray because he's the spirit of truth. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants us to come into abundance of life. And it's by the spirit. Praise the Lord. My prayer for all of us today is that we'll become delight. Is delight even in the days of our flesh. Did you have the prayer? You become his delight. We will give him delight. For we would have been raised by the Spirit. And at any time we stand, as we are walking in our conversation, in our life day to day, we will please the Father. In our conversation day to day, we will please him and come into the Godhead. In the mighty name of Jesus. His grace will be made abundant towards us. We will know him. We will serve him. We will follow him. For we will see him. I want us to just begin to speak in spirit this morning. Just exercise your spirit this morning. That Lord grant us more help at this time. As that we come into more of you. I want you to spend some time speaking. Speaking Papa Pat, me Papa ma Papa we say your labor shall not be wasted over us, Lord. Ringe bele puta priyanda, we journey further into you. We journey further into you. As you take us on, we follow. As you take us on, Lord, we follow. In the mighty name of Jesus, Santa Preta Shishende Matansian and Mashere Abam. As you take us on, we follow. Peso prete moto prene. E du pre pepe juni borobota shine ba pantaga. Ganto preke tomba. Banto krete bota. Lento preke tota. Maraka te sisa. Je ja ja ni breba. Oh, we are says grace. We are says grace. Fre 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 to shim. Re ba bu poto ba. Asale bre de basha. Oh, pa 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 pa. You bre de osh. You will water us, Lord, by your spirit. Shem prepete shabam. You will water us by your spirit. Jabrebo tatesia, melebre tatesia, esubato tostia, rengregesia. Good bebet, bebebet, esubre bebet. You will pray to Tatisha, ma papa papa se, esubre no shandabra. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I want us to take one prayer point before I leave. Say, Father, by your spirit, help us to join you further today. In the mighty name of Jesus, help us to join you further into you. Help us to join you further into your cause. Pray for yourself. Help me, Lord, to join you further into you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Santa Preda Shagadagada. Kotama Ateno, Potena, Petani, Popota, Sasanta, Pepanta, Pompanta, Sampanta, Contanta Kala, Katomaka, Kematokaka, Kretomakakani, Kompalikata, Mopaliata, Esobrada, Tano, Tano. Thank you, Father. Palelelelelation, Paradarabashanaba, Sembre de Brosha, Carrepotomatilaba, Pesia, Osia, Setia, Tia, 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 Tia,